Hello, my name is Danny Nolan and I'm the Director of Chassis Sim uh, Technologies and welcome to this latest Chassis Sim video tutorial and today ladies and gentlemen what we're going to be discussing is the new features in Chassis Sim version 3.31 in particular the focus of this video will be on the new setup sweep feature that um, we've just incorporated in Chassis Sim version 3.31 now there are also a couple of other minor fixes and enhancements in Chassis Sim version 3.31 and depending on what license you are, whether you're on the software dongle, the hardware dongle or you're on the um, online licenses, you'll see those outlined in the readme.txt file. However, one thing I do want to um, discuss before hooking into the um, uh, in, before hooking into the setup sweep option is for those of you from the drag racing community who've been watching us from afar but have been a little bit hesitant about pulling the trigger. One of the things that um, uh, we've just done, ladies and gentlemen, is that you can now modify tire spring rate as a function of longitudinal force, which means if you're running funny cars, if you're running top fuelers, or if you're running any sort of tire where the longitudinal forces will fundamentally affect the rolling tire radius, you can now take that into account. However, you'll see that outlined um, in the documentation in the Chassis Sim Help Directory. However, the big focus with Chassis Sim version 3.31 is we've updated the setup sweep feature to now where you can actually automate it. Now, this setup sweep um, uh, feature, uh, this setup sweep um, uh, feature, ladies and gentlemen, um, features a very, very simple. Um, while on the out, uh, on the outside, it looks relatively simple, where you just put in a setup parameters file, a data parameters file, and a file to where the simulation results are going to be logged to. There's actually a, there's actually a lot more fundamental things going through the surface now. What this does, ladies and gentlemen, is this leverages off um, the chassis sim scripting. If anything, the temporary files that it produces um, utilizes the chassis sim, uh, utilize the chassis sim scripting. So this is sort of the halfway house between the front end of chassis sim and the chassis sim API we've discussed on a number of occasions. Now, in order to employ this, ladies and gentlemen, you need to set up the various components. Um, for this and the way you do that is you just simply do that through the chassis in front end so you grab your car of interest and what you need to do is you need to set up um, some specific directory so for example um, what I've uh, the, what I've done here is this is a um, example I've set up for the chassis setup service. Now you can adopt this structure, whatever structure you adopt. The important thing is that you put your files in a consistent manner. So what I've done is I've set up in chassis technologies a folder called models and um, a, um, a folder called Delara F310. Now you'll see here that I've got an arrow folder, I've got a front folder and I've got a rear folder. In the front folder, because the front and the rear, rear folders have the same structure, um, you'll see that I've got a folder for springs, I've got a folder for dampers, and I've got a folder for bump rubbers and anti-roll bars. And what I do in chassis sim is that, for example, if I want to export a spring, I just simply click on export spring, um, specify out um, uh, what um, the file uh, specify out what the file name is and I simply write spring file 900 pounds force per inch and I'll just put in spring file 900 pounds uh, nine, uh, 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 900 pounds force per inch click on OK and that will update the uh, now that will create the spring file now I'm not going to pre um, uh, pre uh, press the trigger on OK because I've already done that so to do it again would just be a little bit silly but you can go through for each spring component and you can save it ditto you do exactly the same thing with your dampers you click on export damper go file go to the front go to damper and you will just go front damper standard and you would call that baseline damper. So you do that first to set this up and there's a method in the madness here. So we click on OK and you go through and do um, the uh, and you also do the same thing with suspension geometry. So you make an adjustment to suspension, uh, suspension geometry, go to analyze configuration, go to apply calc and then click on export settings, export out to um, where you have your suspension geometry and where you have your kinematics and I'll just call this Delara F310 example and I'll just call that 
front geometry points. So once we've done that, we click on OK and we're good. So, but the whole idea is, ladies and gentlemen, you go through for each feature and you export out each particular um, uh, component. And the format of this you'll find in um, the Shasim setup file import um, uh, document in your help directory. Now, once you've done that, you need to import these files in a, in a uh, you need to import your setup options in a um, uh, specific format. So let me walk you through that right. Uh, let me walk you through that right now. So in your help directory, you're going to find a little word document called Chassis Sim Setup Sweep Instructions. Now, in this document, you'll see what the user interface is, and it'll also walk you through the structure of the setup options file. And the great thing is you can actually do this in Excel. So let me show you what that looks like. So for your setup sweep options file, I'm just going to open that up with uh, uh, up in Excel. And the only reason I'm opening this in Excel is, is it just makes it a little bit easier to see what's what and what isn't. Uh, okie dokie. So what we've got here is this is a setup sweep option that we're going to run through very, very shortly. Now, the key thing is that I've got headers that specify what I'm sweeping through. So here I'm sweeping through a front spring, the rear spring, CLA, CDA and arrow balance offset. Now, this can either be as simple or as complicated as you want. If I was just simply purely sleeping for, sweeping through front springs, I would grab these and delete them because I wouldn't need them. Now, what we've got here is that each row is the setup option you're going through. So for example, here we're sweeping through an 800 pound spring and a 700 pound spring and a CLA of 2.6, uh, 0.87 and a narrow balance offset of 0.02. Now, the key thing is remember those files that we set up for um, uh, the files that we set up for our setup components. This is where this now comes comes into play. So to set this up in here, all we've got to do is I grab my 800 pound spring component. So I'll go back to my C drive, Shasim Technologies, Models, Delara F310, Front, Spring, and all I've got to do here is right mouse click on 800 pounds force, go to Properties, and all I've got to do is copy the file location and we'll do this right here together. I'll copy the file location and then I simply go backslash and I go back to um, where my properties are. I simply copy the file name. I put that in here and we're done. That's all you have to do, ladies and gentlemen, and you do that for each component. So that's how you go through and set up the setup sweep options that you want. Now, once you're done with that, you go to File, Save As, and you're going to save this as a text tab delimited file. So I'll click on that and go to Save. And I'll click on Yes. And so that's now, uh, um, uh, so, um, uh, that, uh, uh, um, uh, uh, so that's now done. Okie dokie. Now, the next thing that we have to set up is that we now need to set up what our data options are going to look like because part of the thing ladies and gentlemen of this option is what this is going to allow you to do is this is uh, uh, is um, this is going to allow you to go through and actually do individual logs so that way you've got a complete record of what's going on on here now I set this up earlier so I'll open that up in Excel and so here I've got my output platform, my car name, my circuit name, my long comment, and what my data file is. So they're my headers, and so this is the data file that corresponds. So on that second row is the um, data file and the setup that's going to correspond with our first run, and this is going to be the one that corresponds with our second run. And you can make that as long or as little as you like. So, and uh, now I should say that this mirrors what you'll see in simulate data logging options for your output platform. So, four for MoTeC, um, for, uh, um, um, four for, uh, uh, so four for MoTeC, six for Pi Toolbox, um, seven for um, uh, Magneto uh, Morelli, and the other, uh, and I think it's eleven for AIM um, Race Studio Analysis. But don't quote me on that. But you'll see it in um, the setup options um, anyway. So, once we're done with that. 
we go to file save as and we click uh, uh, we go to file save as save that and you're done now one thing that I will say ladies and gentlemen is when you do particularly with the data options with your comments just open that up with um, uh, just open that up in notepad and make sure that you get rid of any double parentheses on the long comment it's a little bit of a uh, that what you're seeing there is a is a um, Excel idiosyncrasy um, what you can do to automate that if you go into edit and go into replace you can just simply put in a double parentheses put nothing Go to replace all, and it'll prompt you through um, replacing um, all those um, uh, 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 all those um, double comments. Now, once you're done with that, ladies and gentlemen, you now go through and you load in your circuit. So I'm going to choose a very very short circuit here, so you can um, see this happening in real time. And then what? Uh, so what that will do is that will automatically populate out with your circuit data. So what you would do here is you choose your car file and you choose um, a circuit file of um, um, you um, uh, uh, choose a um, circuit file um, of your um, choosing. So that's already preloaded. So now to run this up, all we now need to do is click on simulate, go into setup sweep options, select the setup parameters file. And I've stashed this in my test directory, but you can pretty much put this in any directory that um, uh, you choose. So this is my setup sort of options version two, data parameters. That's what we've just worked on. And lastly, I'll put a sim. Uh, uh, lastly, I will put a sim log file. Now, what this sim log file does is it'll record the lap times, your comments your circuit, etc, etc. So you've got a text file there of everything that you've done. So to um, to execute the setup sweeping, you just click on OK. And now this is going to go through and execute the setup sweeping. And it will do this for each particular, it will do this for each setup that you run. So we'll just let that run for a moment. And we'll see uh, and um, I'm going to and uh, when we come back, I'm going to show you the results. Okay, and you'll see that every time it runs a simulation, it'll reopen the simulation uh, window. So that way you're getting a very, very accurate um, demonstration of um, what's going on. So when she's done, you'll see a little um, uh, message pop up saying setup sweep complete. And so let's see um, what this has actually done. First things first, in the setup swim uh, log that we've just done, we can open that up in Excel, and this will tell you what's actually uh, 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 what's actually been done. So you've got your setup, you've got your long comment, and you've got what the uh, uh, and then you've got what the lap uh, then you've got what the lap time is. But more importantly, in our um, uh, in our specified um, uh, in our um, specified direct uh, uh, in our sp uh, specified directory under data. Sorry, my apologies. Here's our log files. That we're, um, um, uh, there are the data log files that we've created. So, um, what you've got, uh, uh, so um, what you've got there, ladies and gentlemen, is a very, very quick introduction to how you do your uh, do your setup sweeping. Now, all of that is contained in the um, help directory. So, for those of you who um, are already Shasim users, um, by all means, knock yourselves out. For those of you who aren't Shasim users, check out our online simulation and find out for yourself what a powerful feature the setup sweeping can be. And we'll catch you in the next um, Shasim video tutorial.